Hello and welcome to Soap Party Workshops. Uh, Soap Party Workshops. <laughs> My friend Kathy made me this uh, jacket for our uh, on the road workshops that we do and uh, I just thought I would show it off tonight. I want to talk a little bit about these bases that I built and I introduced a new base that uh, is, as far as I know, this is the only one of its kind um, on the market. Uh, a few, several years ago, my wife and I started collecting antique sewing machines and uh, don't know why, we just, it's like anything else, you get uh, obsessed with something like that and uh, an antique or a specific thing and uh, end up with uh, well over a hundred now, uh, dating from the 1860s to the 1950s. And uh, over the years, I run across these orphan heads and uh, some of them that just looks good, you want to bring them home, but they had no base for them, nothing to set them in, no cabinets or anything else. So I started off at first making uh, making bases. Uh, yeah, all the woodwork I do is with Reclaim, which is uh, wood like this, come out of a barn. This wood here specifically is about 80 years old, come out of a barn. Bring it in, plant it, everything else, you end up with some real pretty colored wood. And so I built all kinds of things with this kitchen table, uh, other kitchen tables, cabinets, things like that that I built. So naturally I started building bases for the machines. Uh, the first bases were just a box that the machine set on. Um, they quickly evolved into something a little different, uh, made in the style of the original uh, early portable Singer bases and other companies with the... Uh, machine sets on a recess in the corner uh, and drops down just a little bit to where it can move around inside the base. These, these do not mechanically attach to the base. They sit in the base and uh, they're not going to fall off. They're kind of like something sitting on a shelf uh, that's got a ring around it. It can't slide. It can't fall off. These particular bases have a little storage compartment there and everything else like the old bases. This one I call a convertible though because Take it out, flip it around, and now you have a bed extension out here on this end. Um, I've made lots of these bases. I sell lots of these bases in our Etsy store, a lot of them in our traveling workshop that we do. Uh, uh, check out our website at the, at the end of this. There'll be a little blip that'll show up, uh, our Etsy store and our website, soprettyworkshops.com. And... Uh, that is spelled S-E-W-P-U-R-T-Y, like we say it in Kentucky. <laughs> but uh, uh, if you would check that out. And uh, like I said, our bases are available at our workshops and on our Etsy store. And uh, But what happened is I kept getting requests about, do you make a base for a 301? Well, no, I don't make a base for a 301 because I didn't think a 301 needed a base. Uh, we had a couple of 301s sitting on the shelf uh, just basically because at the uh, at the period of time in the early 1950s when Singer introduced the 301, it was the the pearl, you know, of the domestic machine. Uh, aluminum, portable. Uh, so I started thinking and I started dreaming, started uh, laying awake at night, turned on my AutoCAD on the computer and started doing a little designing. And uh, this is actually what I came up with. And I'm not going to show you the inside of the base, uh, not uh, in detail, um, because I've got a lot of time invested in this design and everything else, and I uh, don't need every hubby in the country uh, trying to copy what I've come up with here. Uh, if you want to figure out how it works, it's got to buy a base at least. <laughs> This is a 301 long bed. And the good thing about 301 long, or 301s at all, is they all got the little handle, they're all portable, they're aluminum. Uh, a lot of people like to use featherweight with this base. I would prefer the 301. Hey, look, I just throw your chocolate in there too. Uh, this base mechanically attaches to the. That was my ring. To the base. Now, the 301 looks kind of naked without anything on it. It looks like it ain't got a skirt on or something. So that was my thinking. Like, okay, 
I will go ahead and design something that uh, we can use. And there you go. The machine does not come off the base. Knock it off. Uh, not going to hurt it. They are serviceable, so all the parts inside it are, replaced, all, are replaceable. All the latches, the mechani latching mechanism is replaceable. All the bases that I build uh, out of softwood, the machine supports, the latch mechanism and everything is still all white oak. Uh, everything in there except the springs. The springs are uh, uh, what's called skated bark hickory. Uh, skated bark hickory is uh, wood that it was, it has been used forever because of its flexibility and its strength. Uh, wood spoke wheels on antique cars was uh, American skater bar hickory. Uh, axe handles, American skater bar hickory. Uh, 301 base springs, skater bar hickory. Uh, like I said, this machine, this particular base is made out of hickory. And uh, I don't get much hickory. Hickory wood, but uh, I got a knot here on my table that I keep hanging in. But uh, this, I get all you get all this real pretty look um, for that. Plus, this particular base had a big crack here and in the in that, which is now filled with epoxy resin. Uh, it, you can shine a light through it, uh, but it is solid. Uh, do anything we want to with that base. This base is made out of maple and. I really like this base because this base is, uh, was already sanded slick and everything was fixed to be painted a uh, gloss, black, gloss black for the black thrill one. Well, it looks it all on good with this two-tone machine sitting in it that uh, I thought uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, clear coat this base like this. Uh, like I said, that's a soft wood. Still, everything in it is going to be oak, uh, white oak. This particular this particular machine is a short bed, and let's have the uh, bed extension to go for a short bed, and keep the pedal cord, everything else in here, everything all fits in there, and very same thing. Lift it out, and it's out. There's six screws in the bottom. Take the bottom off, can replace everything inside it, like I said. Uh, I don't have much else to tell you other than this is about to, as green as it gets. This is all recycled wood. This is not blows or home dust pot wood, lumber. Uh, the only thing that is uh, bought from the lumber store is the plywood bottom. And that is local uh, or bought from a local owned business. I don't buy it from corporate uh, retailers. So. Uh, this is about as down home as it gets. Um, I'd like to, real quick, uh, this, these, these are all built out of box jointed uh, wood. This is quarter sawn oak, or a quarter sawn red oak right here. Uh, one of the bases is not finished yet. But uh, also, that is part of what you'll see inside the base. There's a milled, milled area here, with machine supports. Over inside the base, um, but I'm not going to share how it works. Uh, but if you're interested in a base, check out our uh, Etsy store, which is the Two Cousins Sewing Room. Like I said, there'll be a blip at the end of the video to show you that. Also, show you our So Pretty Workshops uh, website. Um, a lot of information on there about our other products and uh, all of our bases, um, and also our workshops that. Uh, might be interested in, uh, we have a lot of thrill ones that show up to the workshop that are frozen up and everything else. We get them broken loose, uh, get them broke loose, polished up, shined up, just like this machine here was one that uh, I cleaned up. Uh, that was uh, really, really rough. But anyway, uh, that about covers it. Uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, check out our website. Check out our Etsy store. Thank you.